everyone, this is Yolanda from the Aircrafts channel and today I wanted to make a quick video to talk to you a little bit about making a gauge swatch. Um, a lot of people tell me that they've actually never um, make a gauge swatch and they haven't had trouble. Um, usually, um, if I'm making any kind of garment, uh, I do the gauge swatch, especially if there's sizes involved because I don't want to put like tons of work into something and then find out that either I run out of yarn because my gauge wasn't right or the uh, garment's either too big or too small and I just put in all this work for nothing. So there's um, like here different kinds of uh, little swatch tools you could get. Uh, this one is from Susan Bates and this is, is from Boy. Boy. Um, and then of course like for these um, they even have the little spaces where you could put in your knitting needle and if it fits through there, you know what size your needle is. Um, that's important because sometimes, you know, you, you might not know what it is and it's not written on there. Now, there's, um, there's little measurements on here that will give you the inches and centimeters, um, so uh, millimeters, I mean. And so here, um, if you usually, um, people are going to do your an inch or two inch, and it's even actually better to do at least a two inches and going up and across and usually you would want to make um, a little a swatch that's at least four inches by four inches a four inch square and even it would be even better if you had a eight inch I mean a six inch square so here is a piece I'm actually working now and this um, the the gauge is going to be different uh, affected by the type of yarn also not just the size of the hook or needle so like this is a thinner yarn than this so this is a size a weight three this is a weight four and sometimes the pattern will give you the gauge like I'm working on one right now and it tells us the gauge is 15 double crochets equals 4 inches or 13 rows equals 4 inches now of course this is for a small thin yarn and it's a smaller needle so let's suppose here um, usually it'll tell you um, by the inch. I like to measure in several places like you could do here, here, and here. And that's why you want to have a bigger piece because sometimes your tension will be changing as you work, as your hands get tired. So let's, um, a lot of times, like this one it tells us of course that our gauge was measured in half double crochets which is what this is. Sometimes and of course this is a hat that is double crochet and a medium this is a double crochet with a medium weight yarn. It was done doing a J hook. So of course if I measure the gauge on here, it's going to be different than here. So just to show you the difference. So here, for this, I'm going to put it, you just start on your first stitch. Let me get closer so you can see what I'm doing. So here, I'm going to put my swatch. You could do it in any place. But here you want to start your first stitch there. And then here's my last stitch. So this is two inches across, two inches up. So then in this, if I were to write this gauge of this, it's here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's really like I'm getting about nine um, stitches for two inches. So it's one, two, three, four, five. It's like kind of between. So that's not a real great example. But then if I go up, I'm going to need nine stitches to go across in half double crochet and then it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So you are going to check and the gauge for this little piece would be um, nine half double crochets equals two inches and these number of rows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and it would be seven rows for two inches. So you know so this is for this stitch now if I wanted to with a size um, G a four millimeter hook that's what the gauge I got here sometimes the gauge is not given you to you in stitches but a number of pattern repeats so like say this is a pattern it just depends on the people how they write it so if this is your first pattern then here I would have three pattern repeats in three inches one two three and I believe this was done with a G hook um, on a medium weight yarn so it would be three repeats and then it would be one, two, three, and three rows. So it's just giving you an idea. Now this, of course, is uh, done with a medium hook. It's done with a, uh, excuse me, a medium weight yarn with a J hook. So here, 
if I start my first pattern repeat, which is my first stitch right, right there, I'm going to have a lot less. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six stitches, six double crochets equals two inches, or you could write three double crochets equals one inch, and then one, two, three, four rows equals two inches. So if I'm crocheting, okay, this is I this I used a J hook here. So if I crochet and I'm getting, if I do a little swatch and I'm getting three double crochets for every inch, I know that my gauge is correct. Now this is you would count across for the number of stitches across and then your rows one, two, three, and let me see here. One, two, one, two, three, and it's almost for like three and a half because it didn't complete the whole row right there. So this is just an idea to give you um to give you an idea of how you're crocheting or knitting because a lot of people crochet with a different um tension so you want to make sure. Now the reason why this is important because if you're reading a pattern and they're telling you um, the gauge is such and such for a size say a size 8 but your your tension is off your garment could either be too large or too small depending on what I was telling you. If you're getting more stitches than you have in the inch it's going to be too big. If you're getting less it's going to be too small and if you're, if you're doing it where you're getting more stitches you're going to end up not sometimes not having enough yarn. So, like they say, you need, um, say for example, five ounces of yarn, and um, and then you go ahead and go buy your yarn, but then you find out, hey, I don't have enough uh, yarn. I ran out because my gauge wasn't matching. Um, say like you had uh, your five ounces is about 350 to 600. Um, yards of yarn. I'm just guessing because from just from seeing packages. But um, say you had 350 yards of yarn, but your gauge is way off. So then you might have run, and it's telling you you need five ounces. Guess what? You're not going to have enough yarn. You're going to have to run down to the store and hope that they have the same yarn. And then the worst part is that it would not fit. It's the wrong gauge. So this is just a like, quick explanation. Like I said, this is these are easy to measure on here because it's just regular like half double crochet and then this one of course is just a double crochet sometimes it will tell you how many pattern repeats like here it was three pattern repeats how many rows up um, and so you want to make sure like this is a little sweater they might tell you here the gauge was measured in the double crochets and this was with a D hook and so if I measure here and that's why you want to just make sure, let me open the back because it's a bigger area to let us measure. So you want to make sure, this one I wasn't worried about because I'm actually, you know, if you give it to a baby, babies, you know, I don't have any baby that I was going to give it to so I wasn't too concerned about it. But here it would give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six double crochets for one inch. So it was 12 here for 2 inches, and then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows going up. And so here, my gauge would be, you know, if you wrote it by the inch, it would be 6 double crochets equals 1 inch, and 1, 2, 3 rows equals 1 inch. Um, but it's also, it's really good to know, you know, that take it, like if you make a little square, do at least 4 inches by 4 inches. That way you can, you know, check it at one part here, then up here, and maybe in a lower part on your edges. To see the consistency of your stitches, the more practice you get, the more consistent and even your stitches will get. And that just comes with practice. So, you, I mean, there's really no shortcut. It's just practice. Um, but say this way, this is, uh, that would be the gauge for here with a D hook and a, uh, uh, fingering weight yarn. So this is even a lighter weight yarn. So this is even thinner than this yarn and these yarns of course. So this is just a really quick explanation of gauge. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions um, put them in the comments below and I didn't want to make it too long because I know that people get kind of okay that's too long I don't want to listen anymore. I don't want to ramble on. But your gauge could be counted, like I said, in pattern repeats. If it was a pattern repeat here, then I could write this like one, two, three repeats equals two inches, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever the rows were. Um, so you were you just you're just gonna look in your patterns, it's gonna tell you what the gauge um, model is. And so here, and they always tell you like use any size hook 
to obtain the specified gauge. So like I said, if you're coming out with more stitches than the gauge is calling you for, then go to use a smaller a hook. If you're getting less stitches, then you need to move up to a larger hook so that you can get the gauge and match the gauge. Sometimes it's not exactly even, like the little sweater I'm working on. I think I'm off like by one stitch. If I went up once, you know, if I went uh, down a stitch, then you know it was just too far off. So sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and say, hopefully one stitch won't make too much of a difference. But it can because it could start adding up if you have 36 rows. Can you imagine that little stitch? It's going to just be multiplying row after row. So anyway, this is just a quick little um, idea on what gauge is. And if you want, like I said, if you have any questions, write them below. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button. And remember always that God loves you.